So my favorite city home here. Um, so this is what we're looking at right now. We have a tremendous amount of water damage to this bathroom here. Um, the way we found this actually was we were gonna convert this closet so that it wasn't a closet that faced out into the hallway anymore, that it would just be a linen closet inside the bathroom here. And so started taking this area off and came in to uh, find this water damage here. We were just gonna open this whole area up here and have it as a linen closet with a bifold louver door. And as started peeling this tile off the wall, come to discover we got a fair amount of water damage throughout this area, right? So um, look on the back side of what was a shower here and you can see all kinds of mold uh, on the wall into the joining room. So obviously all that's gonna have to come down. Um, still somewhat trying to trace this leak. Initially, my thought was that this lip on this steel tub, right? This is an old, old, old steel tub. This house was made in 1942. So we have this small lip. Uh, it's maybe a quarter of an inch that's on this steel tub. And the tile, there was actually a concrete board to set on top of that. And the tile was affixed to that, right? So <clears throat> you can actually, you can see right here. Let me see. Right here was the line of where the tile was in relation to coming all the way back here to get to this lip. So the tile wasn't right up against this edge and it wasn't like water just had to fall back a little bit to fall over here and do all this damage, right? So <clears throat> still trying to tra track down where the water damage exactly is coming from in here. Um, but last night we jackhammer up part of this tile floor. Okay, now this this is the type of tile that was on the wall behind the shower, that was on the wall where all the water damage I've shown you is. It was just this type of tile, nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. Again, this house is made in 1942. So we come last night and Jack came up his floor and you can see how thick this floor is. Well, this isn't the wood sub floor because this is all on a wood sub floor. So this is just the pour to attach the tile to. You come over here and you can see, scoot some of this out of the way. This is actually the wood sub floor, okay? So, and take a screwdriver and you can see the screwdriver just punches right in here. And there's definitely sub floor, wood sub floor damage from this leak. Okay, and again, there's a whole nother layer of mortar that was attached directly over the wood floor. And this mortar, if you can see this, they took this mesh, nailed it directly to the wood subfloor, and poured this mortar bed over top of it, and then affixed, poured another mortar bed and affixed a tile to that mortar bed. So, there's probably a good three and a half to four inches of tile, mortar, and sub-mortar before you actually get to the wooden floor. So that's what we're working on today, is trying to get this floor up. But if you can see, you see this wet line right here that just follows the shape of the tub? So last night, I jackhammered up this bit of floor here just trying to get a, a kind of a, a view of what was going on here. And this wet line wasn't here. This floor over here looked just like this floor here. So, you know, I'm, I'm, it's leading me to the conclusion that we still have something in this area that's, that's leaking water out. And I'm gonna guess that somewhere below this tub or at the level of the bottom of this tub, is a pipe that has a hole in it or a joint that has a hole in it, but we can't get access to it yet. So we're gonna continue making our way through this 
and just trying to uh, get access to this. You can see that this wood here is just absolutely gone. Um, and in retrospect, you know, the only indication that we had, and I didn't even realize this until last night, the only indication that we had that anything was going on is between these two areas here, this paint started bubbling and you see this stain on the wall right here. And that was it. And you can see that that concrete board that's in there is still solid. It's not mushy. So, you know, old house problems. Uh, still have not decided whether or not I'm going to keep the tub. Because, realistically, if I find a joint under there that's leaking and can positively nail it down that it wasn't water falling behind the lip on the edge of the tub, then I'll have the tub refinished and uh, keep the tub. But, you know, right now I'm, I'm kind of on the tub needs to go kind of program. And that's a shame because, again, it's a 1942 tub. I'd like to keep it. It's original to the house. But... I wouldn't want to have all this damage done from water making it over that lip and doing all this damage and just go back and fix everything and dry it all in and get it all good to go and then turn around in a few years and have the exact same problem because water made it back behind the tub again. So you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Should we keep the tub? Should we get rid of the tub? You know, what's your thoughts on it? Anyways, my Tabor City home. You guys have a good day.